welcome beings of the earthly plane. My name is Ome. Ome. I am from Nihon. I come with messages for not just star seeds, but all beings of your earthly plane. Messages to help you navigate your life for living in the ethereal layer of chaos that you do on planet Earth has succumbed you to difficult situations. The world as you know it will change one day, not too far along. In the time before that, much will happen. New children will be born with different ideas, different personalities, different objectives. There will no longer be the what does my parent want me to do scenario. There will be a child who knows who they are, where they are going, what they are here to do, and will tell you so from the very beginning. Do not hold these children back, for they have much to give. They will not be restrained. At the same time, there are beings on your planet from the star seed nation. All that means is that we have existed in other realities learned magnificent lessons, become a much higher vibrational soul, all in the effort to come here to where you are and help you ascend to the fourth dimension. You must know this fourth dimension is very low for us, but you my earthly beings live in the third dimension and in some cases are pulled even lower into the first and second dimensions. Yes, right here in your earthly existence. It is time to awaken. It is time to let your heart be free from the physical and mental anguish of your life and embrace your spiritual and emotional life. Create the balance for when you have too much of one or too much of the other, you are not following your path, you are not on your mission, you are not fulfilling your destiny. You need to know your life is not a revolving door. You do not die and come back every minute. You stay home for quite some time. You incarnate when you are asked to do so because you have something to give. However, the human soul who has only existed incarnate on the human planet is not the same. They adhere to this revolving door policy. We are here to teach them they don't need to. Why do they do this? Because they know no different. When they cross over, when their incarnation is ceased to exist, they go to a place where they believe they're supposed to be, and they reside there, and believe that they need to come back almost immediately. So this is what happens. It is our desire as star seeds to come here not to alienate 
not to be different, but to teach, to help others learn, grow, move beyond the chaos to a fourth dimensional status where they can exist, learn their lessons much quickly, and move forward in the evolution of their soul, not just the existence of their life. I encourage you to pay attention to the signs in your life, the things you need to see are right in front of you. You just need to slow down and look for them. Parents, you need to teach your children, yes, some are lost. Wait for them to come around. Don't frustrate yourself. They will be back. And when they do, then you can help them be the best that they can be. So many children are lost today through society through improper parenting, through their own attachment to the physical existence, for this is what they have been taught. New parents, teach your children well. Show them the way. Even if it's not what you're choosing for yourself, know they have a choice and that they will make it with or without you along for the ride. Your children come here to teach you, not the other way around. They know more than you do. The souls that are incarnating are more wiser, vibrationally higher. Remember, on your earth, you're in the fourth dimension. When you cross over, you're in the fifth, maybe sixth dimension to where you reside. However, those of us who have existed in other planes are of a much higher vibration, ninth, tenth, eleventh dimension. And yes, we find it difficult to be here sometimes. But above all else, we know we are here for a reason. We know we need to figure out what that is. We know we need to accomplish it. We would like you to be along with us, to work with us, to help us. Let us help you. The reason you are so connected to the chaos of your earth is your lack of connection to the divine. Not to your religious practice, but to your heart-to-heart -heart connection to that which you cannot see, to that which is the greatest source of energy you have ever known. Connect to that and know, and know with that light, with that source, you can be and do anything. Namaste.